in store you will not be getting this we can directly give it to the customer this is called direct process okay. which will be in master planning what is master okay. planning means master planning that we will be discussing in the next uh, next point we will be discussing that okay. so this is about the supply chain management and if okay. here again if you are having some products and if you wanted to uh, develop some products within you raw materials if you are having some even even dmart will be uh, providing their own goods right not only yes. the other goods they provide their own goods which is called okay. production again this is called production again so okay. what do they do they take the raw materials from the vendor raw materials covers packages and uh, ground nuts for grounding all these things so what they get in within the warehouse and from the warehouse we will be sending that to production production company from the production of the items are uh, ready it will be transferring directly to warehouse or we can get it into the our store also means both the ways we can do this activity from here we can directly pick to the warehouse and from here we can uh, get these items to the store if we are having more items some we will be storing in the warehouse some we will be getting into the store so this is the complete overview of the supply chain management here for doing this activity first what we required first we required company to do this activity and company is required right before that company is required and for uh, after company is done we required some items first we need we we require to register some items within our system right xyz items are should required first we create an item right then yeah. after creating item you will request for these items to be the vendor these are all xyz items which are uh, uh, which are which i have maintained with my store so according to that two different different vendors you will be raising a request so to fulfill your xyz item list within your system system is means uh, in your store if you are maintaining some store you will be having list of items that i should maintain right first list you will be having with the list you will be raising a request to the vendors different different vendors you will be requesting once the request is done with the price what which vendor is giving the best price we will be taking from their vendor from that vendor we will be raising a purchase order means here first item is required then uh, vendor creation first vendor for creating a purchase order you need to create that vendor in your system first right then after raising the request then you will uh, you will raise a purchase order to that vendor for purchase order again we require to maintain which store or it should be coming means which warehouse either mumbai location if you are having multiple warehouses all over india so then you will be deciding which warehouse i will be getting this so within the purchase order we will be configuring the warehouse which warehouse and which site i'll okay. be getting these items okay, okay. so these are all required now this purchase is purchasing is done now what okay. if if you required all the purchase orders in one warehouse and if you wanted to transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse which is called as inventory again inventory inventory or warehouse management are both are same inventory or warehouse management warehouse management advanced warehouse means if you are having different different uh, warehouses means all over india okay if you wanted to transfer this items even we can call as inventory or warehouse see here we have oblique right inventory or warehouse management so what we do here we will be transferring these items from mumbai location to hyderabad location within our warehouse only no my warehouse is there in mumbai and my warehouse is also there in hyderabad and my warehouse is also there in chennai so one to one warehouse i'll be receiving these goods from one warehouse to other warehouse i'll be transferring internally so we use transfer order so we required different different warehouses for doing okay. this activity now one more now after the receiving these items again i required customer if you went to the dmart he will be picking some items after he will be picking all the items and if his bag is full he'll come to the counter right and counter person what he will be asking he will be asking the details sir please provide me your information so that i can create a customer on the system and he will be getting some invoices on his name right he will be getting some paper no last yes, paper yes. he will be providing and directly when you reach he will not directly scan no he will ask you some details what is your name and what is your mobile number he will be asking to maintain a record in the system means to maintain a customer in the uh, in the system this is the customer this is the mobile number he came and picked some items to maintain a record and okay. he even to make a invoice there last paper he will be providing to us no that is called invoice paper in simple means simple way of assumptioning the activity about supply chain this is a simple way of assuming it yeah yeah this is the only thing we do in complete supply chain management how 
it is related interrelated to each other how this is interrelated to each other so this way we will be learning now majorly in dynamics 365 what and all we will be covering in supply chain management first as if i mentioned product information management how to create a product and what and all are setups are required before creating item what and all setups are mandatory for creating an item so we'll making we'll be making that uh, setup and for one crea uh, creating of one item we'll be requiring product variants what color size and what is a uh, uh, ram uh, uh, means if you're taking any mobile what is the ram what is uh, for the uh, what is the in, uh, inches of the laptop and uh, what company of the laptop we are doing it so we will be we need to set up all these things first then we can create an item so what and all items we need to know that we are doing this activity so according to that we will be conferring all this all the setups properly and all, all the categories we will be doing then we will be creating an item in, within the product information management and coming to next procurement and sourcing in procurement and sourcing what we will be doing here we can create a customer and vendor. we will be creating a purchase order okay. to the vendor so and what and all setups are required for this within this we will be discussing in the next class purchase okay. order creation and vendor creation okay. as if i sh showed you in complete diagram and what and all required right that we will yes. that you are clear about that right what yes. i have yes. said all this thing so okay. we, within this procurement and sourcing we will be creating a vendor and we will be doing the purchase order and next okay. uh, next point we will be discussing about vendor collaboration what is vendor collaboration now see normally whenever you wanted to raise a request to the vendor we create a purchase order okay in the system and we'll take that pdf file and we'll send this e uh, information to the vendor through an email this is the process which all the companies and previously Hello. used to do but now in dynamics we have some separate module called vendor collaboration where we give link access means url access to the vendor with specific module only vendor collaboration module so that he can open that uh, link and user id password if he clicks he will be knowing that in the same page he will be knowing what is the request i got what are the items i got so same page he can click on the invoice and he can send the invoice and send receipt to us okay. before delivering he can submit it there it is very much easy for him to do this activity within the system right rather than doing in his own uh, own software again he need to pay, make some uh, invoice paper there we they need to send so it would be like they need to maintain separate software we here it is very much easy for them to have this software within them and they can do this activity from there also this comes under vendor collaboration now coming to sales and marketing what do we do here in sales and marketing in sales and marketing we have an option of creating customer and what and all required to create a customer we will be configuring that and we will be doing sales order here sales okay. order here so that's the reason we use sales and marketing module these are all called modules product information management module procurement and sourcing module vendor okay. collaboration module sales and marketing module and okay. here we discuss uh, next would be our inventory management inventory okay. management i said key warehouse management okay. how do we okay. do this activity within the warehouse how do we okay. transfer and how do we make uh, some item arrival within the warehouse how do we do this activity that we will be discussing in the inventory management and i said okay. something about uh, direct delivery right yeah. if there are items are not there means insufficient items within the warehouse directly we raise a uh, sales order to the warehouse and purchase order to the vendor and vendor directly sends to the warehouse from the warehouse we can directly deliver to customer that comes under master planning means okay. system by default here if uh, there are 100 items within your benchmark or benchmark 100 should be there within the warehouse then one item now some uh, customer came and he, he buys some items and now the count is 80 system okay. will understand that i need to maintain 100 at any cost so what system will do by default system will raise a purchase order to the vendor by default this is called master planning system automatically creates a purchase order to the vendor raising a request of 20 items then items will be received and we will be the 100 as benchmark means okay. if you are configuring 100 should be there in the my warehouse so automatically it would be an 100 it maintains that comes under master planning